Conditions go from spring to winter in the next 48 hours. Uh, so going into tomorrow night and Thursday, that's when the winter precipitation comes. And that's why you may have received an alert on the 13 WREX app. We do have winter storm watches going into effect for some spots of the state line. This is basically I-88 in south as of this point. Higher amounts of snow and ice in the blue shaded areas that extends all the way to Chicago. And as you can see, south of Champaign and even south of there. North of I-88, we're still going to see some iciness. We're still going to see some snow, but the amounts should drop off, resulting in more nuisance kind of snow and ice. Still definitely slick in certain locations. Whiteside, Lee, and DeKalb counties are the ones that are under the watch. This goes into effect at 3 o'clock as of Thursday morning. Lasts until 9, so the iciness is generally going to come through during this time period. As we lead up to that, it's all about some spring weather moving in. We're going to rise above freezing tonight under a mainly cloudy sky. Winds definitely breezy now, and they pick up even more tomorrow, gusting at times up to 40 miles per hour or more. So get ready for those windy conditions in the morning. Then comes the rain in the afternoon, as well as temperatures in the 50s. So we'll see the warmth, but we also have to deal with the wind and the rain on top of that. Let's time things out with future track. You can see that by about 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, that's when we do have some light rain working in. It does pick up a little bit going into the evening, so rain may come down a little heavier as we had uh, closer towards sunset. We continue to see rain showers and no ice through the evening. Then late in the evening, we're talking closer to 10 o'clock here. This is when that colder freezing air starts to catch up with us. So it may start out as freezing rain, then a transition over to sleet and snow from there. As you can see this sweeps through all of the state lines. So even though the icing results might be higher south of I-88, there's still going to be some slick spots north of I-88 through Wednesday night. So Thursday morning's drive is going to be a little on the dicey end. So as you plan out your Wednesday, starting out windy, then turning rainy and windy throughout the afternoon to evening hours, and we won't have to worry about any iciness there. Then looking at future track, when it comes to the winds, uh, they're definitely blustery tonight, but they look to be the strongest tomorrow morning. We wake up with wind gusts up to 35 miles per hour, briefly topping 40 miles per hour out of the south, and then those winds switch direction in the afternoon, so they'll be out of the north as the colder air starts to arrive. A little less breezy going into tomorrow evening, but still, we'll have to deal with some wind at times throughout the course of Wednesday. And Wednesday night, that's when all the iciness starts up. Freezing rain, sleet, and snow all can combine to make some slick spots around the state line by Thursday morning. Then the second round arrives. That's when the snow kicks in. We'll see that mainly Thursday afternoon. As you can see, north of I-88, lighter amounts to possibly some flurries in some spots. Heavier amounts south of I-88. That's how things are trending currently. We'll continue to see the snow throughout Thursday afternoon. Should dry out Thursday evening. And no matter where you are, the combination of ice and snow between Wednesday night and Thursday will create some slick locations. So just be careful and then be ready for that heavier snow south of I-88. Still may pick up a couple inches north of I-88 though. So we're looking at varying amounts of snowfall. We'll definitely update you on those details as we get into tomorrow as the picture becomes a lot clearer. After all of this, we're down into the 20s for Thursday afternoon. We stay there for Friday. We warm back up this weekend as we see the 40s back in the forecast with some sunshine on Sunday. Into next week, possibly seeing the 40s and some rain showers by Tuesday. And then in your most accurate 10-day forecast, we do cool off. We're back down into the 20s looking long term. So it looks like our roller coaster could continue into next week as well. So far this week, with all of the changes in the forecast, still on target, just a degree off today, but well within that, or at least close to that bullseye, cash total getting closer to 200, Brittany. That jackpot on the rise, Alex. Thanks.